Hello, hello everybody, this is Henry from Fun Game Reviews coming to you guys for more awesome, awesome Gil Clash action. We are going to be fighting against the French Gil tonight. So it's going to be Knobheads versus the French. Alright guys, as you guys can see, we have already begun. We've already started attacking. Alright guys, so it looks like the, the stronghold is definitely tough. So we're going to definitely try a different tactic. We're going to be going against the keeps because the, the stronghold really, really is a lot harder than he definitely seems. So as you guys can see, I am going in for the first kill. We're going in for you lose. And I am definitely trying to take him out ASAP so that my other teammates can start bringing down the other guys, guys. So let's do this. Here we go. Here we go. And I am doing pretty well against you, Luz. As you guys can see, uh, it looks like I'm having a little struggle there. But other than that tiny little struggle, I'm going to pull through pretty well here. So you guys can see my biz demon at the top right here, healing away and keeping my my heroes alive and pushing along. All right, guys. So the only two heroes I will technically have left right now, or three, I think, was a landslide, a biz demon, and I think my great sage. So there you go. There you go. All right. So yes, Great Sage is still alive, Abyss Demon, and a Landslide. We got to take this and try to clear it all the way. I mean, the, I, there was only, I think, maybe 20% or 30% of this base left. Uh, but they left it for me to basically finish it up and clear it up. So here you guys can see I am going in and finishing it up. Look at my biz demon going in strong. So as you guys can see, I am making my landslide tank that enchantress. Enchantress ain't going to be able to do anything to us. So we basically have it. So she's being silenced at the same time. She's just focusing anybody but a biz demon. So nice, nice, nice. All right, let's move on here. Let's go check out who else has some attacks. Here's MC versus Spike. Here we go. Here we go. We're checking out MC now. MC is hitting Spike. Goes in. Tries to tank using uh, Great Sage. I was actually thinking he should have been tanking with uh, Wonton. So that might have been a little bit of a mess up. But uh, not a big problem. Not a big problem. So here you guys can see he is going in. Doing some massive damage. Oh yeah. Speeding up those wizards. As you guys can see going along here. Going from all four corners. And coming in for the melt. Look at it go. Look at it go. Oh yeah. And uh, sadly you guys can see he had a little bit of struggle. Everything kind of got melted. Because Enchantress allowed all of them to survive. And uh, get out of those stuns and all that Bad, bad stuff. All right, let's see. All right, next is N1 versus Cyril. Cyril. French. Cyril French. So let's see, let's see. Coming in full frontal status from the north west corner. Here we go, here we go. All right, so as you guys can see, he's trying to push in along here. Uh, trying to do a little bit more damage. Trying to speed it up. There you go. Oh, his heroes are getting melted by that Ambrosia. Holy smokes. His heroes literally were getting melted. I, I'm not sure if those were his main heroes or were, or were those heroes the ones that he, he enslaved. But damn, look at that power. Look at Ambrosia. Oh my god, that speed is ridiculous. Look at that damage, guys. Look at that damage. Uh, and he's he's struggling right now because he does not have an abyss demon to heal up his heroes. His heroes are starting to just drop. Oh man! But that was a good try, N1. That was a good try. All right, so let's go see a next next here. 
All right, it's Chewbacca versus Cyril. Let's go see where he goes. So you guys can see Chewbacca uses the Arctic Lord pool to basically pull all the heroes as quickly as possible. So let's zoom out real quick. All right, and now we go with the wizard team coming in from the north while the Arctic Lord is tanking from the south. Oh, man, I am totally not used to seeing Arctic Lord as the main tank uh, or the the distract but oh my god look at that abyss demon gets pulled and just goes run off to his doom oh my god <laughs> that is one bad thing about abyss demon when you see that he just goes nuts and just gets destroyed like that yeah that was uh that was a little bad that was a little bad all right, next is Mo versus Spike. He probably could have one-shot this. He probably could have fully cleared this if he had his wins. Without a doubt, if he had those wins, he would have definitely annihilated some face, guys. He would have definitely annihilated that face. But here you guys can see this is Mo versus Spike. He, Mo is definitely one of the powerhouses. No joke. No joke. All right, here we go. Full frontal. Again, sadly, he has no speeds, but look how well he performs. All his heroes are still being healed pretty well through all of that crazy mess right in the dead center there. Look at that. Doing well. Doing well. As you guys can see, his Abyss Demon is pulling through and pushing along here. And they are in safety because they're not in that Toxic Shaman little bubble from that's Great Sage. But here... He's going to kill Great Sage again, and that does slow him down a little bit. Uh, but literally, if he had some speeds, you can definitely tell this would have this would have changed up, like major changed up. But all right, look at that. Here we go. Uh, his Abyss Demon is still going along, hoping that he can heal up a little bit. And look at Landslide just monstering it through. And he finally gets... Like, knocked to a low, low HP, but his that Abyss Demon is healing up pretty nicely. Ooh, look at it go, look at it go. All right, all right. One minute in, and here we go, here we go. Let's see how far he can push it in uh, this base. Let's see, let's see. All right, Mo versus Spike, guys. Mo versus Spike. Massive damage. All the heroes are officially dead now. So we're speeding this up a little bit so you guys can see how far he goes through in this base and tries to do some massive, massive damage. So here we go. Here we go. Watch him annihilate that base. Good job, Mo. All right, and continuing on along here. We are going to see a dead man versus Spike. Ooh, dead man. All right, let's see how well you perform, buddy boy. How well do you perform, buddy boy? All right. So dead man is going in from the west side. Oh, yeah. West side is the right side. <laughs> All right, here we go. And... Uh, Going in, it looks like he's at least 50% in through the base. As you guys can see, the entire west side is kind of melted through here. And he's pushing along through to uh, that town hall. Let's see if he can accomplish. There's only 25 seconds left. So he definitely does some mad, mad damage. You guys can see it. more than half that base is basically gone. That town hall is almost dropped. But those little heroes at the end literally... Causing some issues. Oh my goodness. All right. All right. So you guys can see there's Dead Man right there trying to fight, fight it out with just Toxic Shaman. But he gets taken down. Oh, so disgusting. So disgusting. All right. Next, Mo. Mo is protecting against. Showing one of the defenses against someone who attacked him in French. Because Mo is one of our keeps. And Arca did some massive assaults against Mo. Look at him. This is this is the kind of power we were kind of dealing with. All right, this is, this is a keep versus a keep. It's pretty much what's going on here. Keep versus keep. And you guys can see they are literally annihilating. 
Like, they have some massive strength. Look at this. And even their stronghold, I'm pretty sure his their stronghold could easily one-shot most of us because they are definitely powerful. We really needed to work as closely together as possible because this is one heck of a battle. They, and they, they have the upper hand because they have more people. They have more attacks. And on top of that, a lot of their members are pretty strong. So it's not like... They're just what like filler filler teammates like literally all of their teammates had some sort of strength uh, to to do some massive damage. So you guys can see there's a little bit more time left a minute 24 Mo has no heroes left Arcus just wrecking the base here and going along look at the speed of that ambrosia look at the speed of that abyss demon just wicked power guys wicked power all right all right so as you guys can see he has pangoli as well all these tyrant brands man they de those tyrant brands still melt people as of right now nobody really has the abhorrent ages to really defend properly it's just it's just madness it's literally just madness guys all right, all right. So let's see how far he goes. We're speeding up the video a little bit uh, and speeding up that time. So here we go. Oh, looks like it literally is over. Literally looks like it's done. Five seconds left. And look at that explosive damage. Oh, and it's all over. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So next, we are going to see Dead Man versus uh, Cyril again here. And he's coming in from the east side this time. Let's see how Dead Man performs. All right. All right. Go, Dead Man. All right. So uh, Dead Man versus Cyril. Doing pretty well. All right. He is kind of stuck in that corner, though. He's literally kind of stuck in that corner right now causing some sort of problems uh due to the fact that he is stuck in that little corner but right now he's he's kind of penetrating through which is looking good definitely coming through right now so let's see let's see all right pushing along pushing along dead man versus zero right here doing great and he, he basically killed all the heroes so it's only the base left so we can try to speed this up a little bit uh, and let's watch him attack. All right. Oh, he got pushed back. That great sage. So let's go see if that great sage is going to cause them some trouble or if he's actually going to be killed. Okay. Well, even though, oh God, that really does cause him trouble because <laughs> the toxic shaman bubble on top of that, he is coming back multiple times for more and more hits. Oh my god, look at that Toxic Shaman, so low power, what the heck, and on top of that, he has a Thunder Blade, so that it will help boost a little bit, it's not going to boost a lot, but it will definitely boost a little bit, so here we go, speeding up, this is Toxic Shaman by himself, let's see if he can take it, he can take it, let's see, go, 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 7 seconds left, Oh, and some of the bases still left over for Cyril. Man, that was crazy. All right, Heads versus Devil. All right, here we go, Heads versus Devil. And uh, let's see, pull in with that sick wonton. Look at that maxed out wonton, level 200. Look at that bouncy bounce from that awesome explosive divine that wonton has now they're all attacking him and here we go coming in from the east side look at all those wizards man look at all those wizards all right some massive speed look at that massive damage so many wizards just coming in to eat that base down oh my goodness and this is why people do wizard teams instead of sharpshooter teams. For some of you guys who have your sharpshooter teams, you have invincibility mode. Your, your wizards just survive through the onslaught. You know what I mean? That makes it so much more dangerous when your wizards can survive and hit that much. Like, ridiculous. 
But as you guys can see, Tets is having a little bit of problems now. Uh, but he's still kind of surviving, still doing a little decent here. But, oh. Let's see if he has any struggles or if he actually does well. Let's see, he still got some minute in, so that means he must be doing okay. He must be doing good because, look, the lightning is still hitting and his massive speed units are still kicking away. Look at it. All right, speeding it up. It's only the base left. So here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. And he is coming closer and closer to finishing up here. So it's just Town Hall. I don't. With only 10 seconds left, he is definitely not going to clear this base. But he did some massive damage. This was like almost a one shot. I think if we had higher morale, it would have been a one shot. Close enough, close enough. All right, so next, you guys, let's go and see my attacks on a spike here. So this is me clearing up a second keep for spike. So you guys can see this is my damage right here. Here is my heroes coming in from the west side and trying to make sure I can push through all of his heroes as quickly and as powerfully as I can. Here we go, here we go, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, as you guys can see, I'm definitely pushing along here, doing a great job, melting those heroes, keeping them at silence as much as I possibly can. As you can see, they are starting to go down. And then I started getting a little worried because Enchantress started giving them uh, that little invincibility. And he, that Ambrosia was starting to put my heroes into that... Uh, Godlike mode from Pangoli, so I started worrying a little bit, and then finally Enchantress goes down, and we are uh, battling out with a Great Sage here, but we still have a, a couple seconds left, and then we're gonna finally go and wreck that last little base, and that is the win, guys. That is the win. Nothing left. Ridiculous. Thank you guys all for watching. This is Henry from Fun Game Reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed the onslaught against French. Even though we may not have had enough strong members, we definitely are competing as much as we could. So thank you guys for watching. This is Henry from Fun Game Reviews. I'm out. Have a good one, guys.